Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Superstars of Wrestling Review channel here, or portion of our work here on the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. And uh, this is the October 20th, 1990 edition of Superstars. Luckily, this is a complete month, rare in this time frame. Uh, we move, as mentioned, towards the um, Survivor Series, mentioned that week by week here. Uh, Legion of Doom out and um, pretty aggressive. All members of Demolition uh, are in an inset basically promising to get rid of the Legion of Doom. Um, Animal manages to do the majority of the work during the early part of the match, including forearms, hard shots, and uh, uh, trying to hit, hit and hitting, actually, a... Vertical drop kick, uh, standing drop kick. Um, animal comes back in, hits a big old boot, and Hawk manages to come in in time for the uh, Doomsday device. Obviously, the idea of them hitting that on uh, demolition would be what the draw would be. We get a plug for the hottest matches videotape uh, by Coliseum Video. I will be eventually reviewing. Some of the Coliseum videos that are available. I think there's more available online than I realized. Uh, we get a review from the Ultimate Warriors appearance the previous week on the Brother Love show. Where he dresses up in uh, women's clothing. Randy Savage is unhappy with this. Unhappy with anything associated with this. Wants his title back and says he's going to get it. Giving a nod to the fact that Savage... Less than two years before, if you think about this, less than two years at this point was the world champion. Uh, Shane Douglas makes his debut here this week. Shane Douglas, uh, if you think about it, four years removed at this point from enhancement talent stuff. Speaking of enhancement talent, Pez Watley here providing the competition for Douglas gets a few offensive maneuvers in. Douglas doesn't last very long due to, I believe, Illness of a family member, I'm pretty sure it's illness of his father. His father does recover, but he comes off the road really, really quickly. Uh, little known fact, he does team up with Marty Jannetty around the horn as a replacement for the Rockers for Shawn Michaels a couple of matches during the summer because I saw one of them. Uh, anyway, high cross body almost overshoots it, does Shane Douglas. Douglas gets a pretty big... Uh, uh, nod here and had family issues not taken away. Would have been interesting to see what he would have done. A uh, couple of drop kicks and Watley is in the corner. Uh, attempted roll up, but Douglas uh, doesn't get what he wants on it. And we see a head scissors takeover that uh, um, Roddy Piper claims doesn't go very well. Uh, we go back to the doctor with Jake Roberts. Roberts not happy with the results. It says he can barely see. We see the first of the lens in the eye that is um, uh, kind of clouded and blurred that we see over the next several months. We then see Brother Love, um, and needless to say, the model is bragging about his situation, bragging about what happened to Jake Roberts. Not out and out taking credit for it, but basically saying he, he feels badly for Jake, but really doesn't. Rick Rude out looking probably in better shape than a lot of points in his career, challenges the boss man, says that he can say whatever he wants about whomever he wants, and uh, Heenan rallies on about the boss man's mother even here, um, complains about being assaulted, they, they do a video package of that, and... Rude basically promises to get even with the boss man sooner or later. You're an Intercontinental Champion. Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich is here. I think he's still a champion in this match anyway. I know he he's running with it um, through the Survivor Series, I'm pretty sure. I think the switch happens right around Survivor Series. Against Pat... Uh, no, not Pat Diamond. Um, against Enhancement Talent... And it's clear that even here, in the end of 1990, uh, Tornado having some trouble. Uh, you know, his basic punches and the, claw, the use of the claw, the, the claw not a big move, as big a move as it is for 
uh, World Class in Texas. And if you haven't heard the entire World Class run and you'd like to, we do have a 340-episode version of that up. Discus Punch gets the Tornado the Victory here. Just FYI, this particular episode super short, only running at about 28 minutes. So there is a lot of missing stuff here. In any event, the... Big egg that eventually hatches the gobbledygooker at the Survivor Series is shown. We go to a Survivor Series report where Gene Orkelin once again uh, plugs the series and the matches coming up with. Um, I don't think there's anything new in that regard. Uh, We do actually still, though, see kind of the mystery of The Undertaker yet to be revealed. They don't reveal that until the night of. Remember when reveals happened at pay-per-views and you didn't feel like an idiot for buying them i do uh anyway of course most people within about another four years it'll have been a decade with the network four or five years anyway sean michaels and marty Jannetty uh do a promo i guess there's an inset before michaels is out and away or maybe he comes in just for the inset against power and glory who's in the ring for the enhancement match of the day and uh Again, they use their power. Um, They're pretty aggressive throughout. Roma actually is the more aggressive of the two, but that's because he takes the majority of the first few minutes of the match. Hercules comes in, hits some clotheslines. Remember, these guys are managed by Slick. And then we do see the uh, superplex splash combo by Power and Glory, and they get their victory. And that will close us for this particular edition. We... We'll be back with more right after this.